Hello again, and this week we are in a sunny Castlefield. Now, would you believe it? It's sunny here today, but for the last 48 hours, it's absolutely lashed it down like I've never seen it before. And all of a sudden, the rain stops and you get a glorious evening like this. So we're in Castlefield, which is an area of Manchester known for its industrial heritage. There's lots of canals here, there's some really old bridges. In fact, last year we did a, a video in this area of, of the old bridges and brickwork, and there's a, a link to that just up uh, there in the corner. This year, just trying to look at some different type of pictures and really I found this point here where we're just looking across the canal with some buildings in the background and as you can see there we've got the the Beetham Tower which is the which is the tower that holds the the Hilton and um, and some luxury apartments on the top I'm just looking down this canal we've got the reflection of some buildings and that um, and the smaller tower just in the water there so I'll set the camera up and uh, really trying to focus on getting some of these boats in the foreground and then into the background, that reflection leading up to the tower, leading up to the main tower. And of course, we've got a blue sky. Now, what are we going to do with that blue sky? Because that blue sky potentially looks a bit too blue, but there are some wispy clouds in there, which we can just about see. And uh, I'm going to use a polarizer. And that polarizer is going to darken the sky down a little bit and just bring me some of that contrast um, back into the sky. Bring those clouds out, make those clouds look a bit more defined. So, what am I using? Well, of course, I've got my tripod. Tripod's set quite high, actually. And what I'm trying to do here is shoot over this first boat on my left, getting some of this gearing on the left-hand side, but then get that boat in on the right and then shoot down the middle towards, towards the buildings in the background. So to do that, I would need a quite a large depth of field. So I am actually shooting at f22. Now, I never go up to f22 on this lens, but let's give it a shot tonight and see how it comes out. And I'm going to focus, literally, on that on that lamp at just at the uh, the back of that uh, boat there and that will give me the hyperfocal distance which is the distance from the front of the frame to the back of the frame that's in focus um enough to get down to infinity and get those uh, go, go, get those buildings in the distance the lens i'm using tonight is a uh, nikon um it's a uh, oh what, which, which one have i got on i've forgotten already it's the 24 to 70 2.8 and as i say it's on f22 which is about as high as that one goes and I'm using my trusty old Nikon D850 on a, on a, on a tripod. I've got my filters, as, as I say, but the only filter I'm using is a, is a polarizer, and I'm just using that to get, to get some sky. So let's, let's take that picture and, and, see what, and see what it looks like. There we go. Let's have a look at that image. So as we can see, we've got the river, which is the canal, should I say, and, uh, and that's got the reflection of the, of the water nicely in there. We've got the tower um, nice in the middle of that frame. Around the edge, we've got the boats and we've got the, uh, the Hilton Tower in the, in the background. I think that's a relatively nice picture. It's not going to set the world on fire, but it's OK. Um, so hope you enjoyed that image. Uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.